How you doing? <laughs> Pleasure. <laughs> Lovely to see you. She's dying. I'm gonna grass cut. How you doing? Um, I'm coming up for a little kissy. How you doing? Hi, nice to see you. You're good. Oh, I'm upset. <laughs> What's going on? Oh. <laughs> don't trust me around your face. I don't trust shook. me. Are we? Yeah, no, I don't want to. Like, I, no. I, I can't let a lady no. stand. Please, please, please. I know. <laughs> take a seat. I'll get a seat. Yeah, no, let's, take I'll take it. that. This is like Christmas. This is like Make a Wish. Merry Christmas. So, prior what's happening? To you <laughs> I saw Flex have a piece of paper with a, a head on it. Right. It you saw this? Oh, I you saw, saw the little head. head. And what did you think it was? And I thought. I've seen that headshot before. You really have. <laughs> I've used that headshot before. <laughs> what I do here is make wishes come true. Now, I didn't organise this at all, but I no. love taking credit where it is not due. Yeah. Last week, Froomey over here probably gave us a 15-minute monologue <laughs> about how obsessed she is with way. not just Lux listings. So it's not even about that. It's about you. Oh, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. She is freaking <laughs> Out. I actually am. <laughs> yeah, my mean no. I don't even get nervous. I forgot what it's like to be nervous. You're making me nervous a little bit here. Sorry, okay, I'll compose myself. <laughs> Do you remember what you said last week? Uh, not really. I know that I said that we both love Simon and Gavin Flex. Big fans. Appreciate that. I said I'm probably more of a Gavin. Kind you, be of you better not have said you prefer Simon. I would never say that. Okay, <laughs> I would never say she that. She is good at like, yeah, okay, cool. I would but, never say good, that. Just, just make it sure. <laughs> um, but what else did we say? Uh, I wish we had the tape here to play it back, do we? Oh, oh no. <laughs> Will over here works overtime. One thing about Will, he's going to have the recordings. Please play it. Oh, my God. When I finished the first season, I was lining up to go to the rooftop. Mm. My first ever time, I was a fish out of water. And I was lining up and who did I see walking out of the venue? Gavin. Gavin. Gavin Rubenstein <laughs> flunked by a bevy of women and other hanger on Of course. And he's getting out and getting into a Bentley. And I <gasps> screamed. Oh my God, Gavin, I love you. Did you really? Yeah, really? something came out of me. <laughs> okay. I've never done it before except <laughs> for you, Gavin. has to be one of the most composed people I've ever met in my life. <laughs> yeah, if right? there was anyone who would choose professionalism, tact, grace over being a banshee, it is this woman. Right. When she saw you, she disregarded all social cues to not only yell, but yell at you. I love you, Gavin. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you know what? Everyone in that line <laughs> whipped their head around and thought, who is this banshee in the line uh, giving all of her love to Gavin Rubenstein? Thank you. Have you had any other weird encounters since the show's begun? Surely this is just the tip of the iceberg. I mean, I didn't even know that that had happened. So, like, he didn't even know you existed. No, no, no. I, 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 I didn't. That's no, a shame. I, I didn't mean that. But um, no, I didn't actually know that that had happened. I don't find that weird. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you very much. But have you had any weird encounters? Weird. Like any the... weird DMs? Oh no, no, lots of DMs. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Like nothing surprises me these days. So. No, nothing crazy. Nothing. Any requests for your hand in marriage? Uh, hand in marriage specifically? Not. Oh, actually, you know, maybe a couple times. A couple? Yeah, yeah. Any, considering any? No, I'm too young to get married. Got to check. <laughs> <laughs> I literally was just wearing it on my finger. She thought, you know what? I could give this on. I could pass this on. I'm ready. This um, is now, incredible. Gavin, I haven't seen this sheet of questions. I didn't know we were even You don't even need them. I think Go I do. Heart, I'm babe. nervous. Oh, this is. <laughs> <laughs> you can help her, Flex. You can, you can yeah, start yeah. Let me take one for the team. <clears throat> Flex, my hand. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> oh, this is what I want to figure out, right? So, you, Simon, and Delene, what is the relationship there? It's a weird dynamic. Um, so, like, Delene and I have no real friendship at all. Mm -hmm. um, and that's true? Well, yeah, 100%. Um, on a professional level, we're, you know, if. If we cross over, we cross over, but we don't have much of a professional relationship yep. either. Uh, Simon and I have a good working relationship. We've got a good friendship. We don't always see eye to eye. You know, you've got to remember he's kind of representing the buyer. I'm representing the seller. He's trying to buy low. I'm trying to sell high. And mortal sort of, enemies. I know about mortal enemies. It's a enemies. beautiful love story. <laughs> I know about love story. Yin and yang. <laughs> I don't know about yin and yang. I'm like, these are direct quotes I'm getting from Gavin's <laughs> mouth. Mortal enemies, lovers. And, no, incredible. It makes a lot of sense though, but your dynamic is amazing to watch. Because also it. you both hold your own very well. Yeah, yeah. Whatever he can dish, you can take 
take and throw back. Yeah. It's a gift. I mean, I don't know if it's a gift. I just have an answer for everything. I think in my line of work, you've got to have an answer for everything. You know what I mean? I have an answer for everything. So, um, and I don't think he's used to that. So it creates for a bit of an interesting banter. Well, this is a perfect segue because last week I opened my letterbox. I live in Bondi Beach. Ooh, right. <laughs> And what I got was a little letter from TRG. Instantly, oh, right. the name okay. rang a bell. Which, if we can stop there, that seems like synchronicity. What are the meant odds? Meant to be, meant to it be. It was meant to be. You live in the East and you were canvassed by one of my team members. Exactly. Good. Incredible. Good. Working good. overtime. Yeah. I thought maybe, t- I didn't even know TRG was a real thing at some point. It's a real thing. It's a real thing. A real you thought thing. Gavin was an actor. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like one big ruse. Is that what you thought? Maybe. Yeah. No, no, TRG is very much a real thing, yeah. Well, you guys canvassed the area and put a letter into my letterbox saying, we have a buyer that urgently needs to buy a two-bedroom apartment in Bondi in this exact location. Good, means they're doing their job. Yep, I won't give the street away, but it's in quite a tightly held pocket near the beach. Okay, so like you're giving giving stalkers a really great (laughs) vantage point. All good. (laughs) That's cool. Um, And it said, you know, can you show us through? Instantly I thought there's only one man I want to show through the apartment. Who is it? Mr. Rubenstein. Well, Trick you, question. How come you didn't call? I'm, I actually messaged you on Instagram and you liked it. I said... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, that, but, but that wasn't... I thought that... Was, was that the actual letter? I thought that was just a... It was a letter, but then I said, um, if you ever want to come and look at my house, you're welcome to come and I'll show you around and you can um, give me like... I guess maybe what I'd want from you, because I don't own the apartment, is kind of like tips and tricks on how to make it more attractive to a buyer. Right. But you're Do not... you own the apartment? Absolutely not. Great. Okay, well then it's irrelevant for me to come over. But <laughs> what, what, what I would do would be if you want to buy a house next time, you just call me and I'm happy to help you through that, no problem. You know what? We believe in manifesting here. And I'm so thinking I. 2025, I might be in the bracket. Well, the market's kind of starting to stabilise. I think there's going to be opportunities coming up, you know, particularly in... in that Suddenly sort of I've got a sense range. of urgency. Oh, I wasn't even looking and now I'm, <laughs> now I'm running out of time. I just want to play something for you. We're getting too far into home buying territory so. and it's just not where you're at at the moment. Oh, I know the bills are stacking up, <laughs> but I just don't think you're in uh, the tax bracket of Gavin's buyer, but that's okay. That's cool. I'll look after her. Yeah. Don't lie to her. It's okay. <laughs> she can take it. <laughs> Will, can you play a little something for us? Oh, no. <clears throat> Shit. This is simply a short message for young Gavin. Big fan of your work and would love to have you over. I mean, the apartment is not mine to sell. It's roughly $1 million more expensive than I can afford right now, but I'm happy to show you around. Yeah. (laughs) The thing about Miss Lucinda Froome's price, her real name, um, is that she will always take a bit too far. (laughs) And I think what's really important here is that Froome's has shown... uh, perhaps uh, an element of tenacity mm. that most people will not have. I think she'd make, you a know. A good real estate agent. Oh. That's what you said. Where, where it wasn't you, where I was going. Where, where Professional you, heckler. Okay. Well, you sound pretty good here. I mean, would you leave this sort of gig to sell property or? <laughs> Be honest. You know what? We were talking earlier about. Don't bring me into it. <laughs> <laughs> because my check is secure. But you know. <laughs> we were talking earlier if things turn sour yep. if things go west what is the career that we would do maybe a real estate agent we were talking about jason ackermanis are you familiar with him AFL, mm. afl player not really no tell me tell me about him now. well he was an afl player really massive in melbourne right. and then he retired and has become a real estate agent and i thought what a crazy turn of events but in Flex sydney? said yeah i think in sydney and, and is he doing good well obviously I mean, not. i haven't heard of him <laughs> no. <laughs> no no like i mean i don't mean that i just Look, I think over the last two years, because of how frothy the market has been, Mm -hmm. anyone can hop into real estate and, you know, sell a home. But I really think, you know, now moving forward, it's going to sort the men from the boys, so to speak. And Mm -hmm. we're in for an interesting time. So it's not, I know it looks on the outset when you see Lux listings, easy. It's a a super challenging career, i got to tell you. And I've been at it a very long time, like 14 years of lots of sacrifice, lots of commitment. um, Which is personally why I have beef with the Ray White group. And I'm gonna I'm gonna say it loudly and proudly. <laughs> I personally have beef with the Ray White group because first of all, to call you while you're on the boat, it's a bit much. Interrupting the boat. It's a bit much. <laughs> uh, secondly, to tell you to slow down, you're yeah. at the top of your game. Yeah, I don't. Uh, not yet. Not yet. True. You yet. are. You are. At your, you're not at your peak. You We're are about to the go trajectory. There. 
We're about to go. It's astronomical. To the moon, you well, don't like tell that. an astronaut <laughs> that it's time to slow down and circle back. We're not going where we've been before. 100%. Look, credit to them. They've been phenomenal over the last 15 years. But, but the biggest, or I should say the best and worst thing about them is how big they are. Mm. Because they've got a thousand officers kind of nationwide. They've got to make sure everybody is happy. So the new deal I have worked on with them allows for you know, growth, it allows for us to, to build. We're opening a second location in about eight weeks, which is exciting. We're so th you. they're on board, man, it's very exciting. <clears throat> they're good people. If they weren't, I wouldn't have been with them for so long. Okay, well, I'm gonna take your word for it. I still have my beef and I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold on to that you. beef. I appreciate you. Not for you, but for the principal. Okay, fair enough. Okay. <laughs> now, while we're here, I wanna say thank you for extending your time to us. Oh, because a pleasure, thanks I for I wouldn't even you. do it. You know, <laughs> <laughs> if I have a full day, I'm not stopping for anyone. However, while you're here, a few rapid fire questions. Hit me. I wanna get to know you. Hit me. First of all, it's not on the sheet. You can hit me with anything. But I wanna ask hit do me. you believe in aliens? <laughs> I'm always, I just wanna so check. That's a good question. No. See, he's one of me. Is that bad? It's amazing because yeah. Froome's doesn't either. Okay, we're, we're on. My girl. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, nice. Um, have you ever used a property you were selling for anything other than work purposes? <laughs> Don't incriminate yourself. <laughs> but if it's a yes, uh, blink. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's all we need. Cool. Do not Thank incriminate you. yourself. Thank you. Um, when was the last time you cooked for yourself and what was it? Ah, oh, that's would have been late 2017 <laughs> <laughs> um i no actually first round of covid so what was that like two years ago mm -hmm. i cooked steak and veggies and it was horrendous so wait what have you been doing ever since um i eat out almost every it's night it's a lifestyle i've got a lady who cooks for me for the week i've got all sorts of <gasps> stuff yeah she good unbelievable is the lady called you foods no. No her name, way. Her name is Eleni K from Angie Baby's Kitchen. Give her a little plug because she's very, very What's good. What's your favourite dish that she does? She does this Moroccan lamb cutlet with yeah. this uh, nice corn and like spice quite nice. It's yeah. good. Yum. Yeah. And if you're going out in the eastern suburbs, what's your favourite dinner restaurant? Ooh. Good question. So dinner, I like, I, I like Margaret and Double Bay at the moment. Mm -hmm. Lunch spot, favourite lunch spot, Catalina, mm -hmm. Rose Bay, um, and Mimi in Rose Bay. In uh, Coogee, sorry. Write those down. Mimi, if I write those down. What is the most expensive thing you own? Uh, real estate. Yeah, property. Yeah, property. So and you own properties. How yeah. many? Um, how many? <laughs> <laughs> wow, 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 um, wow, 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 wow. I've got a Frim few. I've got, <laughs> I've got property in Rose Bay, Vaucluse, Ooh. Bondi, Potts Point. Huh? Waverly, I got a few properties, yeah. These are personal expenses, business expenses? They're personally owned, yeah. <laughs> That's how you know that the zeros are there. I don't know the about deposits. That, that, were made. I got a lot of debt on them too, but it's good debt, so yeah. Uh, any questions, Rooms? This is all you. <laughs> I think I'm done. <laughs> I'm so shook. Okay, here's the thing. Keep going, I like the rapid fire. Thing. I have a real estate question. Hit me. Oh dear. What do you mean, oh dear, babe? We're getting into the market. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I just bought in Hobart, right? right. Property value's gone up 30% since last year. Yeah. Do you think it's smarter to buy the shittest property in the most expensive suburb? Right. Or the nicest property you can find in up and come up? Ooh. I'm gonna go location always, because mm. location always holds. If you're buying for investment, and it sounds like because you're always here, been. it's investment, right? So I'd go, I'd go location. Mm -hmm. But if you're going to live in it, like you can't put a price on contentment. Sometimes you want to be happy. So like I have a couple of properties <coughs> I bought that I've lived in, I've overcapitalized on and made some stupid decisions on, but um, you always kind of make it up on the next. How frequently do you think you make stupid decisions? Every I don't day. think that's, no. Yeah, yeah, 100%. <laughs> don't be humble. No, 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 no I'm serious. I, I always do. Like I, but I'm, they don't deter me. You know what I mean? It's like when I make a bad mistake, I learn from it and I don't shell up and you know, it almost progresses me as opposed to holds me back. And I think mm -hmm. most people, when they make a mistake, they get kind of shelled up and it holds them back from going forward. I just have a different perspective on it. How do you unwind? Uh, the <laughs> only way I can unwind is when I hop on a flight, which is a long haul overseas. Um, but even then, when I get to my destination, I'm always on the phone, I'm always available. But that puts me in a space of being able to. You don't work on a long haul flight, do you? Oh yeah, I will if I can, yeah. The man is getting a call right now. <laughs> it's a buyer. <laughs> To buy Do you want to grab that? Would you like me to? Oh, I'd love it. Hey, hon, how are you? Good, and you? Good, good. What's happening? Um, I just spoke to them. They out at eight and a half. But if anything changes, right? 
Do you reckon you're going to go to auction still or? Pretty confident because I've had a, a couple of conversations with some of the other parties and a few people are comfortable with 8.5. So, yeah, we're going to run it. Perfect. I'll let you know if anything else comes up. All right, beautiful. All righty. Thanks, Carl. Thanks, guys. Cheers, bye. bye. A clap for the man. <laughs> <laughs> the king. <laughs> Thank you. I'm, I'm going to come here every day, man. <laughs>